This is Twit. According to Sundar Pichai, uh, he says, the CEO of Google, of Alphabet, actually, useful quantum computers are five to ten years away. Just like fusion. Just around the corner. <laughs> Just like the singularity and everything else. Everything well, see, is five to ten years away. I mean, I've been hearing this about fusion for, you know, decades, and we've been hearing this about quantum computing for a while, but I don't know. It does look like it's coming together, slowly but it surely. It is slowly I, coming together. Jensen Huang of uh, NVIDIA said very useful quantum computers are likely decades away. Pachai said, well, here at Google, I mean, he knows, right, they've made breakthroughs in quantum chips that have allowed researchers to calculate in five minutes, a problem that would take existing supercomputers longer than our universe has been around. Pachai, who is rarely excited by anything, says the progress in quantum is palpably exciting. <laughs> it is amazing. It's pretty great technology. I can't wait for it. Mm. Is it? You believe it? It's true? It's happening? Yes. Yeah. Well, well, let me explain quickly <laughs> quantum computing. Um, I, I hear when when people try to explain it, they talk about bits and qubits and and, and yeah. being able to be in multiple states. Think of it this way: quantum computers use the way nature works to get an outcome. Wow. If you're standing on top of a hill and you're looking down and you're saying, from this point, what is the quickest path to get to the end? You could do measurements. You can round around trees. You can round around the 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 humps in the in the dirt and the and the rocks and and or you could take a vial of water and then start pouring it down and see which way it goes. And that's kind of what quantum mm. computer is like. It is you're able to use the way the nature finds its easiest path to to get to that to find and do those calculations. So that's just think of it that way. It's it's how it harnesses nature to, to be basically uh, get you the answers that you're looking for. And so when, when you get enough of these uh, quantum bits, you're able to create more scenarios and more simulations in order to, to get to, to be able to, to be able to use that same force to get your answers. And so, yes, this is real. Yes, it's happening. And yes, as we are able to deal with the error, rate, error rates of which there are breakthroughs all the time, this will be, something that'll change all of our lives yep. just uh for giggles i asked my ai to explain quantum computing to a dog <laughs> it said woof let me try to explain quantum computing to you my furry friend <laughs> in a way that might make sense to a dog fetch but with many balls at once imagine you're playing fetch but instead of one tennis ball your human throws a whole bunch of balls at the same time now here's the magic part you can chase all the balls at once. It's like you're in many places at the same time, sniffing and grabbing every ball simultaneously. Careful. That's kind of what quantum computing do does. Computers do. They can work on many problems at the same time. And then it goes on into something a dog does not understand, which is superposition, entanglement, which it calls magic doggy telepathy. <laughs> it's probably we're saying actually exactly what you're saying wesley i was going to say wesley though that's the best for, forget the ai answer that was the best explanation <laughs> he did a that good i've job. heard the water yes. that that's that was yeah. the best that i've heard it's like nature quantum yeah. computing it's, it's like nature be like water my friend <laughs> i uh, have a cryptocurrency wallet with almost eight bitcoin in it and i'm just waiting for quantum computing to crack the password which i have long forgotten do you think that'll happen is that possible in my lifetime Technically, yes. I mean, uh, five to ten years. Yeah. How long yeah. are you planning on living? Well, but also at the edge, <laughs> it could be worse, Leo. At the moment, there's a guy in Wales trying to buy a landfill site. I know. He's, he's still, it, yeah, he still he's, can't he's find still that hard going drive. on that. It's just like there's 400 million in Bitcoin in this <sighs> landfill site. Just please let oh, me man. find it. It's please. Just, I know it's here somewhere. He's the person who picked up the garbage, this. nicked it, and is now using it yeah. in the home. Well, like, oh, funny. It's not a perfectly good computer. Every, yeah, so every time I've taken something to the, to, to the tip, the, the person running is just like, yeah, I'll take that, and I'll take that, and you can throw the rest in. It's just like, yeah, somebody's got very rich out of that, I suspect. We should explain that in Great Britain, they call landfills tips. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, two great countries separated by common language. <laughs> yes. Is that because you tip your 
yeah. garbage into it. Exactly. That's okay. that's exactly the name behind it. So yes. It's, um, oh, so when they come over saying, "Hey, you want to give me a tip?" That's <laughs> well. There's that. another thing. Also, we don't tip as much in the UK. The very idea of the first time I came over here and bought a, a drink at a bar and paid with the exact currency, and the bum was like, "You're from England, aren't you?" Over here, we tip when you. you know, it's, yeah. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.